Street. I'm Tammy McLean I'm with Verizon and I'm, we're showcasing our Verizon Response Innovation uh, equipment and vehicles and technology that we plan to take uh, and help uh, support first responders when in an emergency. So all of these vehicles can be um, uh, taken pretty much anywhere in a crisis environment. We like to say that we, we go where the first responders can, so we take you that extra step further. So for instance, this particular vehicle was originally designed to go into a hurricane ravaged area. And you can see that we've got, of course, you know, lights and things like that. It's tactical, but in addition, it's got uh, communications equipment. So you can go into an austere environment and pop up a communications network and do it securely with our product plus software defined perimeter. And then inside that, we've got we've got power capabilities capabilities and uh, various other types of uh, technology, and we do that for all of these vehicles. So, like this, for example, um, we could take to an avalanche. We could take to uh, a wildfire and actually utilize uh, this to allow first responders to go further. And again, what we do when we take these vehicles to a crisis is free. So it's at no charge. vehicle right here is our fire suppression vehicle and you see it's, it's actually equipped with a fire suppression technology but in addition uh, from our partner HX technology it's equipped with IOT sensors and so those sensors actually can be um, flown and drones because a lot of it, everything that we have here we equip with drones and robots and things like that so you can even go further with what you need to do and inside those are 360 cameras that feed back wirelessly to what we're calling 4D visualization which is a, a way to monitor and manage uh, this technology as you're sitting somewhere more safe uh, until you can move forward. So those IoT sensors actually measure chemicals in the air. So you can say, okay, well, this is telling me that I can't send my guys in yet. Right, right. And so, as those come down, I can send them in. I can start moving forward. I can start, you know, attending to this fire in a way that I wasn't able to. So it's all uh, it's all about safety Absolutely. and not deploying people. Exactly. Keeping keeping the first responders safe as they're trying to make us safe, as they're trying to extend and make our community safer or, safer, or they're trying to uh, bring our communities back up in a disaster. So this particular guy here, this is actually a, a, a bomb detonation robot. So again, you send this guy in instead of your person. And then you have, you have, the way, you have an ability again that video that goes back into your 4D visualization, uh, so you can say, okay, well, it's 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 been diffused, or it's you know, right. it's it's safe to go. So and it's it's all about wireless communications back to absolutely back yeah. to your uh, operation, vehicle. yeah, That's the main right. vehicle. Right. And then uh, this right here, this is um, we're we're working this one to be more of our law enforcement support vehicle. So you know. From to just you know your your everyday situations that can pop up, uh, we uh, again have uh, communications networks in there. Uh, you can see we also have this bounce imaging ball here. This is a ball that um, that looks like a uh, uh, like a 360 it is. camera. And it's at, you can actually drop it, and it's fine. But it's got it's got a way in here that this ball can do. You know, you can throw it in wherever you need to throw it, but it'll maintain that that visual line that it needs. Is you're you're watching this from you know your 4D visualization. So uh, the the guy uh, Bounce Imaging is the name of this company, and they'll use the Dallas police officer um, shootings that happened uh, the year before last. As an example, just toss that thing in there. Tossed in there, they could have seen what um, you know where this guy was, and we actually demonstrated that in our Operation Convergent Response activity last year at the Guardian Center. So we'll be doing something similar again this year in November. Uh, but this is a fantastic uh, piece of technology useful to first responders. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. I hope that made sense. It makes so much sense. Okay.